Okay, we have a 1969 Mustang Grande with the deluxe interior. You'll walk around, it's a 302 engine, C4 transmission, I think. I haven't even checked. It's a running driving car, it's registered. I've taken it around the neighborhood, around the block, but I have not taken it on the highway or any extended drives. Um, just recently started working on it, got it running, now I'm selling it. Um, vinyl top, I don't know if you can see, bubbles, <clears throat> so it's got, it's got bubbles, so there's definitely some rust under there. Um, I think these, uh, everything on the front end, front end, I think, is original to the car. It's very original. Um, it doesn't have a lot of replacement parts and things like that that I can see. Um, I don't know who owned it before. Only thing I've done to it is basically just get it running. So had some wiring issues. Um, that, so you see a couple of splices and things like that with a new, uh, what do they call that? I forget. Um, regular? Um, anyways, so it runs good. Uh, I put a different alternator in it. It's not a new alternator, but it's a different one. I replaced uh, the carburetor with an aftermarket unit so it's not stock and it's got an electric choke over in the side there hooked up to your alternator it's got um, power steering standard brakes so four drums I guess uh, I gotta be honest I've never even taken the wheels off so maybe you have discs on the front I don't know um, why am I selling this car? I got I got other cars that I want to be working on. Um, this one's just kind of ended up being a distraction for me. Um, all the glass is there except um, it's not. Uh, it's off the uh, uh, the guides, so slopping around all the rear glass. Um, all the little pieces, like the trim pieces are here. There's one missing, and I think it's in a bag. Um, it's got your typical rust. It's got a little dent in the back on the, on the um, bumper. Um, there's a lot. I like this car. I'd love to keep it, but like I say, I have other projects. You can see this trunk lid must have been a replacement trunk lid it looks like it's green under there so pretty bad paint job um, there's the door panel it's got the um, deluxe interior so you know all these things are very hard to come by you know this the light the chrome trim you know the uh, mirror uh, adjuster so there's a couple of pieces in there as far as Rust in here, I mean, that's, it's rusty, but it's not rusted through that I can see. So, let's look at the other side. So a lot of it is it's pretty original, like you see the wiring and things like that. Um, in the back side of this is kind of rusty. Let's take a look there. So I'm guessing it's the original gas tank. Um, so the car is fully functional. Take a look at the interior. So the door panels are gone on here. But there's the other door panels. 
So the inside isn't too bad. It's in pretty good shape. When I got this car, see the floors? It had plastic seat covers on it, so it makes me think some old lady owned this or something like that. And it's been sitting forever. I bought it off a guy who got it off a family or whatever, and I don't know any history about it. So look at the floor there, you can see hole right through. But the tow board isn't bad, which makes me think the cowl is probably not too bad. So the tow board here is not bad either. But when you get over by the seat, it's rusted through. Frame rails look pretty good. So if you look, you can see this is the, like I said, the deluxe interior with the rim below, rim below steering wheel. Now look at that steering wheel. That's in really great shape. Um, it's not all peeling and falling apart. The clock isn't all fogged up and everything you can see there. The trim looks nice. Uh, even this dash is a lot better than I thought, you know, what I would expect. So, I mean, that hasn't even broke. That Usually there's a hole there, but that hasn't even broke through. The visors are good. There's a missing light up there. Back in the corners, I'm sure there's leakage in the back window, so that'll have to be addressed. There's a crack in the windshield here. It's got the sport mirrors with the adjusted, uh, adjustable. Should start up right away. This car, it's been warmed up, so. Should start right up. Oh, called me a liar. There we go. So I don't know if you can hear it. I'm too big for this car. So it's probably running at around 600 RPMs. Uh, I've got the uh, automatic choke set at like 1500 RPMs. So when you first start it up, It'll run fast and then you kick it down. But it runs pretty good. So maybe it's missing a cylinder or something. The way that's sounding, but who knows? I don't, I'm not an expert at that. Um, as you can see, there's no black smoke. You will get black smoke when you first start it up and it's been cold, which I'm assuming the valves need to be dealt with. Uh, the wheels are 1970 Mustang wheels and they're 14 by 7 uh, and they get the 1970 hubcaps on them. They're actually pretty rare, uh, hard to find. So it's not a 1970 wheel but uh, it'll work. All right, got any questions? Let me know.